Hello everybody and welcome back to House Flipper. We haven't played this in a while. But they just released their Garden Flipper DLC. So now I think we can just make lots of houses and do up the gardens. I'm not entirely sure how it works. But uh I I'm just gonna continue my game and see where we where we go. So Oh I see, look. So like we could start off maybe. Um I can't remember how to do this. Change tools. All right, so we've got my, my tools. Painting, cleaning, moving objects, tiling and paneling and demolition. Okay. That seems like house tools, honestly. So where's my lawn mower then? Gotta work this all out now. So, a tablet maybe? Garden, okay. So decorations, furniture, surfaces, other. Oh, we got loads of cool stuff. Ooh, ooh, bridges and stuff. Ooh, and gravels and ooh. I should still have quite a bit of money. Oh yeah, I got like half a million in the bank from the last time I played. Yeah. Turf rolls. Okay. All right, well, okay. So these are all things we can buy. And these are all things you can buy for the house now. Oh, they've changed all this up quite a bit. This is a very different looking tablet. And it's a lot nicer, actually. The rugs are in one place. Oh, this is so much better organized than it used to be. Oh, good grief, they've been doing some good stuff. There's a few more, possibly a few more floor tiles. I recognise most of them, though. And I think they've been working on stuff like getting the kitchen and stuff. Um, like, getting different things that match a little bit more, anyway. Still some things that should match that don't, but... They seem to be in sets a bit more now, possibly. Yeah, that's a good improvement, I think. Still most of the same stuff, but they've added a few things. I don't think that sink was there before, for example. But yeah, and then all the survival stuff is just under one nice little tab there. Yeah, definitely so much better organized. Um, so anyway, I still don't know how to like do things like get rid of this. So let's go to, anyway, let's go to like um, demolition, for example. Can I demolish the garden? Can I? Still seems to be all the usual tools because they definitely showed you sort of being able to dig up the garden, plant new grass, all that sort of thing. And there were definitely tools for that. I'm just gonna like head on in into my house. So that's my tablet again, isn't it? Oh, I've got some mail here, so maybe it'll maybe it'll tell me what to do. Oh yeah, let's go and do one of these. Okay, so I work at home in my dentist's office. I can deal with all kinds of teeth cavities, but not with the holes and weeds in my garden. Please lay some gravel at the front part of my yard to get rid of these. Also, could you plant something on there to make it look better? All right, let's try that. Let's try that. An English garden is dominated by naturally shaped trees. Hmm. Okay, from now on, you're able... To... Oh, right. Oh, it just gave me planting. I had to take a commission for it. Okay, from now on, you're able to design a garden, look for plants in the garden category and in... Sorry, in the shop. Okay, cool. I could already see those, but it's just, it's just the planting thing that wasn't available, apparently. Gross. Okay, so. I've unlocked a new tool. Using the garden hose, I can water flowers, fill water tanks, wash dirt outside the house. Oh, thank goodness. Maybe there'll be better ways to clean, yeah, rather than, so maybe like dirt, maybe you'll be able to like, all the way up there like because it used to be that there were bits of dirt that you couldn't get with the mop and you couldn't reach and it was so super annoying you have no idea all right then garden hose sell objects move objects still can't mow the lawn but i can like water stuff 
They wanted some gravel, didn't they? So let's see if we can find some gravel in the shop. So garden, architect, no, not architecture, it would be surfaces. I think that two color gravel would look quite nice in this, especially with the stones they've got, with the, the flagstones. Hold to crumble, hold to remove. Maybe I just want to put it down really, don't I? Just want to do this, just like get the whole thing like graveled up. It wants me to plant something as well. Get right into the sides there. Very nice. How do I do weeding? Oh no. How do I do weeding? There's dandelions. Anyone who ever followed my Twitter ever would know how much I hate, really hate, really, really hate dandelions in my garden. They suck. There's no way to do weeding yet that I know of. I can sell that. Let me sell the dandelions. Oh, they are so horrible. I hate them so much. All right then. Boo. Now I can at least like cover over this horrible long grass with nice gravel. Get in there, gravel. This is actually very therapeutic. You could do some nice shapes with it, actually. It's quite, um, quite malleable is probably the word for it. You can definitely do a lot with it. Except for removing dandelions. I'm guessing that comes later. Oh, it's gonna bug me so much. It's like my garden right now. It's covered in weeds and I gotta sort it out before we move house. I put down some weed killer already. Oh, it's saying remove weeds. Okay, so there's gotta be a way to do it. We will find it. And we will blast those dandelions. Is there some, is there a weed killer or something? Plant a coniferous shrub and remove weeds. Kind of want to gravel these bits up though. I probably will refine how I'm doing this at some point. It's a little bit janky around the edges. Give me a nice edge. Thank you. Yes, so we have to have a way to do weeding. I will find it and I will make it happen. It may be that you can't actually mow the lawn, that you have to put down turf. It would be a tad unrealistic, but... Uh... So they already did some gravel over there. And they did choose the gravel I chose, which is quite cool. So yeah, this is a bit like when I first did House Flipper. I needed to do a couple of like jobs just to learn how things worked really. Come here. Wonderful, so this is looking really pretty. Apart from the dandelions. So it says hold to remove. Now I'm wondering if that's what I need to do then. Let's hold to remove. Just gotta work out how to do this. So can we move objects? Ha ha! Ha 
ha ha ha ha ha. It's the hand tool. It was there all along. So you can remove all of these dandelions. Don't even need a tool. We don't even need the daisy grubber for this. They just... Oh, this is so satisfying. You a weed? You're a weed, you're a weed. Oh, well, I missed a bit of gravel over there as well. You can't tell sometimes until the weeds have gone. Oh, so satisfying because the dandelions and dandelions suck so much. If only I could weed my garden this fast. I'm going to touch this up because I can't just leave it like, you know, like this. What? I have to put a single coloured gravel down? Since when? Grr. That did such a nice job as well. Okay, fair enough. Gardener, new perk after four minutes of mowing time. So there's got to be a lawn mower somewhere. We will be mowing lawns soon. But yes, this is looking a lot nicer. But apparently I have to go... <sighs> Planting faster. Oh, visible weeds, visible moles. New shovel. Faster digging, faster planting. Oh, I don't know. Let's go with equipped. Get a trimmer, a hedge trimmer thing. I'm sure that'll come in handy, right? So now apparently I need to fix what I've done because I was supposed to use different gravel. Oh, good, good. And there were all sorts of things that I could take perks in. Oh, well, never mind. We'll get there. Oh, we got some smaller sizes as well, so we can be a bit more like... Oh, in different colours. Very nice. But unfortunately, I went with a two-coloured gravel and I'm supposed to go with a one-coloured gravel. Which really sucks. It's terrible. Single-coloured gravels were so boring. So boring. We could make it pink or something. Or beige. Or just white. I think just white is good. I'm very upset, though. I had to change my plans. I'm also slightly upset by the fact that these don't line up very well. I need to get a good edge, you see. Because things like that matter to me. Is that a good edge? I think so. such an OCD game. It really is. To get everything exact and perfect and beautiful. And I've done that again, right? Get rid of that little bit of grass there. I do like that however you place it, they make sure that it tessellates. It's a very nice touch. I'm not so sure we should have just stuck stuck gravel down straight on top of the grass though. I imagine if you were really careful with this you could do some really nice effects. So there we are, that's the first bit of gravel done. Um, we still have a bit more to do, I think. And so scatter single coloured gravel on the ground. I can't believe I did the wrong colour. So this is the gardening equivalent of the painting, I guess. It's really quite therapeutic to do. Make sure you get all the different bits. I don't think I've missed any there. Maybe a little bit in the corner there. 
make sure we get that there. Oh, lovely. Oh, so lovely. Still got more to do, though. Oh, but doesn't this look better? Oh, man. To be able to do the gardens on these houses and to do the house. I may have to do an entire, like, choose a nice big house. I don't know if any houses have been added. There might be some new ones that have been added since I last played. It's been a while, so it's not beyond the realm's possibility that there would be a new one. And I'm kind of thinking we could do a whole house and do the garden and everything and just uh, have a lovely time. So I think most people really enjoyed doing this, but the only the only thing that they kind of thought, oh, this is a bit rubbish, is that, that there wasn't enough... Um, ooh. Do I gravel all this or do I just like... Maybe just do a nice edge here or something. We could do a curve, actually. Looks like they've got a nice gazebo out here and everything. Look. Wow. That's nice, isn't it? One more task have I got to do then? How much more have I got to do? Can I see my tasks? Okay, they've still got their, their different... Okay, so I need to, to... Still scatter this. In, in the four... Oh, I see. So we've got different areas. Oh. Oh, right. So two coloured gravel over here. Oh. So now I put the wrong cut. Oh, gee, okay. I didn't get that at all. So they want coniferous shrubs. Oh, okay, right, right. And two. I just thought they wanted uh, two tone, one tone gravel everywhere, but there's sections on the mini map. Didn't see that at, at first. Okay, getting. This is blind playthrough, okay? This is what happens sometimes. You don't get the game mechanics for a sec. Okay. I'm gonna just redo this then. So that's why you have to be stood there in the right zone before it will tell you what to do. That totally makes sense. So these are the equivalent of rooms, basically. The garden zones seem to be the equivalent of rooms in the house. That utterly makes sense. And these green areas are the areas you have to fill in. The green bounding boxes. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. So I need some coniferous shrubs to put down. Let's have a look what we've got. So this is really just me learning the game at the moment. Plants. Conifers. An oval shaped coniferous shrub. That sounds lovely. Buy one of those and pop it down. Pop one there, actually. That'd be quite nice. Plants need to be planted. Interact with them to do it. Oh. How much do I need to dig, I wonder? So four little holes, okay, and then insert the plant in. Okay. And then put the soil around with my hands. Ah, oh, wonderful. And then I have to water it. To make it lovely and green, I see, okay. Nice. I, I can I can do this. Oh right, you've got creeping pie and loads of different little plants. Okay, they're all very different to each other. I like. I like a lot. I'm gonna buy them mostly the same at the moment though, so I can just plant them in because I think I do need a coniferous shrub over here as well. 
and one over here and one over here. So I'm just going to do one in all four corners because that just makes sense, right? Hopefully I can get them fairly, fairly even. Although it's not like there's a grid or anything on this wall. There might be and I just don't know. Put the soil around. Oh, well, this is fun times. I like the planting. I can finish incomplete orders by clicking. I don't need to click. They're, a little, they're mostly in line with each other. It's going to be hard to exactly do that with, the, as I say, the mechanic you've got. So I'm going to... We could do some different kinds of uh, coniferous shrub. We could do some like more. Um... Some more irregularly shaped ones. Carpet shrub. Or we could do a big conical shrub by the gate. Oh, loads of loads. Loads of money. So why not? Just do that like, right in the middle there, I reckon. And then, do you know what I'm going to do? To try and get them even, I'm going to stick the other one on the other side. And try and get it sort of the same. Oh yeah, I can see them on the mini-map as well. And hold and I can pick that back up and I can slightly place it in a different place and I can use the mini map to try and reposition it about there is about right just looking at the mini map itself However, looking at the trees themselves, doesn't look quite right there, does it? Oh, I've planted that now. I think I need to... Oh, okay, I've planted both of them. Oops. Well done, me. Okay, so I'm going to have to work a little bit more on the uh, the old planting correctly thing. I don't think using the mini-map is necessarily the best way, actually. I think going by eye is probably better looking at it. Oh, I'm quite enjoying this, so. Last one, there we are. Let's plant in. Yeah, you can see even on the mini map that one's slightly different. Water. We're not too bad. If we have a look from the gate, there we are. I've got two nice big plants there. That actually completely changes the look of the garden as well. Wow, especially coming in through the gate. I I really like that. I'm not sure whether I should have had just so we could come from this direction. It was equal. I don't know. No, I think I like it the way it is. Actually, I think it's good. And we've got a car that we can set up first. A car, yay! I would like to have some flowers. Flowers would be nice, right? So enjoying this. Anyway, order is completely completed and I've done everything, so... 2,100 coinos! That's not bad, even though I had to replace all the gravel. Oh gosh, I remember, that's how that used to look. I still don't know how to mow a lawn, though. I've got a 
clothes, tiling, demolition, garden hose. I want a lawnmower. Okay, let's see if we've got any more jobs to do with the garden. Remove bushes. Additional walls, walls are knocked down. Save me from these horrible colours, honey. Necessary extra bathroom, bathroom and home workshop. All right, I think we need to remove the bushes. Okay, hey there, I have a bit of a problem. I tried to deal with weeds in my garden and got some kind of herbicide to get rid of them. Luckily, just to test it out, I used it on a couple of them and quickly realised that is extremely effective. I want that for my for my weed killer for my for my dad. What did you use? <laughs> Quickly realised it's extremely effective. It destroyed all the weeds as well as my bushes. I'm really glad I didn't spray it all over my yard, but unfortunately I did it right in front of the entrance. Now the plants in that area are dried up and look pathetic. Please wipe them out and fill that spot with some fresh grass. Oh, and if you could mow my lawn as well, that would be fantastic. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we're going to have to learn to mow the lawn now. Fantastic. So, I have unlocked a new tool. From now on, you'll be able to use to, sorry, to cut the grass using the garden brush cutter. Sounds nice. Okay. Brush cutter. Let's go mow the lawn. Oh, that's so satisfying. Oh, the satisfaction. The amount of time that we've been... All we wanted to do was mow the lawn in our houses while we were playing this the first time around. And now we can. Oh, so good. I'm very impressed. Oh, so nice. So nice. I, I just want to do mow mowing of lawns all day. That's all I want to do. Yep. I'm guessing they just mean the front garden, really, pretty much. It's mostly this section here. I mean, I like mowed the whole thing because I'm nice, but you know, I don't think I was actually meant to, technically. Okay, I need my hand tool. I'm gonna use my hand, I think, to remove this. No, maybe not. Maybe I need to use the brush cutter to mow the. No, okay. How are we getting rid of these then? Mateys? Sell? Aha. Just sometimes there's different ways to do things. Now get rid of those. Lovely. Oh, I was already looking better. Oh my goodness me. I wanted I just want to do gardening now. I want to go out this is inspiring me to go out and tidy my garden up. I can't because it's wet and my lawnmower is broken. I need one of these little strimmers, don't I? Right, so the next thing I need to do is put down some turf, apparently. What do you mean, mow the lawn 29%? I'm guessing I've got to go and do the, the the mowing of the lawn around the back then, have I? Can't get... Do I have to go through the house then? I'm going to go in the house? No. Hmm. Okay. Um, I suppose I did miss a spot there. But I'm guessing I'm going to have to to, uh, to plant some grass before I can mow it. So, I need some turf. I imagine that turf is a surface? No, it's not. Um, is it a plant? Decorative plant? No, it is not a plant. Gosh, there's so much you can do though. It's amazing. Where's all the grass gone? I saw it a minute ago, honestly. Oh, paddling pools and everything, it's so good. Sculptures, pet accessories, dog houses and things like that. Big pool, fountains. <gasps> so much stuff. Turf rolls, it was under surfaces, man. So a big turf roll. I might need that for like here. Oh, rats. 
I'm just working out how to do this, okay? So... Rotate it a little bit. That is as close as I'm going to get it to the fence, apparently. Oh. Well, that sucked. We'll try again. Hold the spread. That's better. Ah. Cut and finish. There we go. Lovely. Probably need a small one now. Yeah, it's a little good one to do little edges and things like that with. That one's so cute! That just keeps going forever, that one. Okay, this is nice. Um, I'd probably want to, like, in a garden I was just designing for myself or whatever, I'd probably just want to do the, the trees. Still apparently haven't mowed enough of the lawn. I need to get out. I need to get around the back. Right. Oh, I can open the gate. Ha 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 ha. Right, that makes more sense now. Okay, cool. I mean, I would love to put more turf around here, but that's almost more like a bed, I suppose. Let's see if I can like get the edges done a little bit more with a small turf roll. Do I get any closer into the edge? A little bit. Clear the path ahead to continue laying the... Oh, gee. So what I'm going to need to do is turn it and, uh, and just lay it in there. So... To turn it around like this. Probably like the most inefficient way anyone's ever done this. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. That's terrible. Did not know it would do that. Eh. So I've got to be really precise with my turf rolling. This is the first time I've done turf rolling in this game, okay? Right, so I'm going to go buy a larger roll of turf now. And try and do this bit here. <laughs> so I wonder if I can, like edge this at all, like, uh, um, this turf, I don't know, you maybe have to just be really, 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 really precise with the way I lay it down. It doesn't look like I can sell it either, it doesn't look like undo is an option here. So I'm glad that I'm practicing on somebody else's house. Okay, that sucked. Right, I need small turf. Small turf! I'm gonna try and do this this little end bit. This is why I'm not a professional gardener, okay? I don't really want to be like, that is gonna overlap. And that is going to leave a gap. Oh no, that was actually fine. 
Fantastic. Oops. Don't need this brush cutter. Give me another turf roll. Okay, this is working now. I don't know how. I managed it somehow though. <laughs> Whee! This is actually quite fun. Okay, I need to like patch in that little section there. Oh yeah, this is looking good, guys. Somehow it fixed itself. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, we've still got a little bit of um, mowing that I neglected to do over here. A little bit of strimming. There we are. Oh, doesn't that look nice? Yours. I'm so happy. <laughs> no idea how happy I am to be able to design gardens in this. It's like really nice. So let's get a large turf roll. I know, I keep messing up the... Okay, so let's see if we can do a slightly better job of this now. So I reckon if I go from this direction and I turn it around, probably just use a big roll and then maybe a small roll down the edge. So put it there. Or a medium roll, probably. So let's go back and get a turf roll, a normal sized one. It doesn't look like I can start it any further back than this. So it's always going to have a little bit of a gap there that you've got to fill in with the small stuff by the looks of it. That's fine though. Guess that's what it's there for. Let me just pop that in there. Oh. <clears throat> there we go, that's better. Good job! Oh, except for that tiny little bit there at the end. That sucks. Let's see if we can get that filled in, because I'm a sucker for that stuff. Oh, I'm liking this turfing business. I've done a good job there once I, you know, finally started to work it out. That's great. Okay, so we've just got to mow the lawn now. Meow, meow. So when do I get my rotary sit-on lawnmower self-propel petrol thing then? You know it's coming up, right? Because there's no way I'm going to strim everybody's gardens. So if we run like this. That's better. All these little bits in between the paving stones. I love the fact that there's literally no, no spare, spare grass anywhere. It just naturally is beautiful straight away. Got everything there. Make sure we do. In between those stones, lovely. And there was a bit of grass around the other side, I think. And they did a bit of retention. This is actually kind of soothing my soul from not be having a horrible lawn myself because like, I literally got halfway through mowing my lawn and then the lawnmower broke. So, now it looks terrible. It looks so bad. 95%. Okay, it's a bit up here. 98%. Oh no. Where's the other 2%? It looks pretty done to me. Maybe some little bits. Ah, oh, there we are. Just some tiny little bits. There's a pool uh, that you... 
We can walk on water! Hurrah! Oh, doesn't that look so nice? So good. Okay, done. And I made a grand for like cutting the lawn and laying like tiny bit of turf. It was great. Okay, so new negotiation skill available. Click the hotkey below to upgrade the skill of negotiation. I don't want to do no negotiations. I want to mow the lawn. Brush cutter, demolition. Garden hose, paint, sell objects. Where's my lawn mower? Oh, the brush cutter can do the lawn. Yes! Cut the lawn at my office. So good. Excuse me a minute, I just have an entire lawn to mow. You have no idea how long I've been waiting to do this. It's really sad, I know. And if you do it like this, if you do it like this, you get you get stripes. You don't in the game though. You do if you do it in real life. As you can tell, I'm not very good at getting the stripes. The stripes are always a bit wonky, to be quite honest. Oh, this is so good. I missed the whole section there. You've got to make sure you hold the thing down by the looks of it, or it just doesn't move properly. Oh, how good does this place look? I'm just going to mow the lawn for now and then we'll have a look at maybe like making this nice. Oh, apparently it does like cut down those big weeds as well. That's quite nice. Meow. All of these. Some of them come down, some of them don't. Depends on what they are. The ones that are like stinging nettles, they come down. Very good. I hate stinging nettles. They suck. There we go. I hope none of you find this boring. I hope you find it as satisfying as I am finding it right now. This is incredible. No idea. And I know I I do not do this in a straight line at all. Terrible. I don't do that for hoovering or shopping or any other of the household tasks that uh, that I might otherwise be doing. No, I... I never go in straight lines, I always just do little, little sections and stuff. And luckily in this, although I do try and do the lawn, I actually do try and do the lawn to get stripes, because I'm that sad. Not much of a huge gardener though, honestly, in real life. Because I'm always inside playing computer games, that's why. I'm gardening, I'm doing this and my garden's a state outside. But I'm in here playing a gardening computer game. Under the pretense that this is work. <laughs> this is not me utterly enjoying myself on a game, this is, this is work for me, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll just be in my office doing work. <laughs> I'll be in my office oh, mowing lawns on computers. Yeah. That's me. 
Okay, so yeah, um, in case she didn't work out, I'm quite excited about the fact that I can mow this lawn because just because it's frustrated me for so long that I've not been able to. You go away. And my office is always, I, I did so much to make it look really cute. It's got this lovely purple interior and everything and I, I made it look cute. Uh, but it always had horrible long grass outside and I'd, I didn't like it very much, but now I can mow it all. Although any gardener would tell you, you're supposed to leave a bit long. I'm not going to though because I want it neat. But you're supposed to leave a little bit of it long. And the reason you're supposed to do that is so that all the bees and the birds and all the wildlife um, that likes to live in gardens and might struggle without... Say you cut down all your dandelions and a bee was using that for its food. Well, then it wouldn't have any food left. So you just leave a little bit and it helps all the all the bugs and the, the wildlife and stuff. And then you are being a good gardener and a friend to nature. Right. Gone, you stinging nettle. Like, being a friend to nature. Die, stinging nettle. <laughs> Die. Stinging nettles and dandelions, to be honest, are um, the bane of my life. Anything brambly or spiky as well. Then I end up with like a load of spikes just in my hand or something. Like the amount of times I come in from gardening and there's like hedges outside the windows that I have to try and keep, you know, relatively sh short so that they don't grow over the windows. And um, they are full of, full of thorns. And the amount of times I have like a big splinter just off those, it's horrible. Like, whose silly idea was it to put a, a prickly hedge there? Why don't you get a non-prickly one? These are the things that I would change if I owned the house, you see. I would be like, let's have a non-prickly hedge under the windows. That doesn't try and eat my hands every time I try and trim it. Yay! I don't know, it's because I should be wearing gloves, but I hate them too. Because they get spiders in them and stuff. And dirt. I make my hands horrible. But yes, there's none of that in this game, though. You don't have any of the, the suffering. Gosh, I need to paint the outside of this so badly. Wow, I didn't even realise how bad that was. Maybe the grass was hiding it. I need to look at how long I've been... <laughs> I've been doing this for 50 minutes nearly. <laughs> I was just going to have a look at how long this uh, this sort of half hour or so episode of Garden Flip is going to be... Oh! Yes, time flies when you're having fun. And learning how to roll turf. And cut lawns. So that's like the total basics, but we, we've got a lot of fun still to have. A lot of because we haven't even started designing gardens yet, because that's going to be the fun part. But honestly, just being able to trim the lawn makes such a difference. And to me, this is not this is a labor of love. Like this game is not about how much you sell the houses for at all. For me, it's like showing you guys my ideas for designs and what I want the house to look like. What I don't want it to look like, it's full of stinging nettles. Get away, stinging nettle. Okay, before I end the episode, though, we will have this lawn trimmed. Look at that difference now. Look at that. Oh, I missed a bit. Oh, it's over here. I missed a bit. A bit over here, I think. And a stinging nettle. But yeah, look at that difference. It looks so beautiful now. Oh. Get away, stinging nettles! You suck! The bane of my life! And the other little bits that I didn't quite grab. Yeah, all these little bits here. I want to do a nice neat job, you see. Grab all the little bits that I always... There's always one bit of, gar of like, when you're doing the gardening, you always put the lawnmower away and then you find those bits. 
and you're like, oh man, I missed a spot and I've already put the lawnmower away. Man. Not that I whinge when I'm doing the gardening or anything. Okay. Looking good. Probably not entirely showing off the uh, the full capabilities of this uh, this patch quite yet because I needed to do this, okay? And those of you who've watched my house flipper series know how much I lamented the fact that there was all this horrible long grass that I couldn't do a thing about. I was making the house beautiful and gorgeous and spending loads of time and, and effort on it. What's this? That's a weird weed. Spending loads of time and effort on it and then the garden was manky. This is wonderful. So to get the DLC, it's uh, if you want the house game and the DLC for the garden, it's £25. If you just need to upgrade your house flipper, it's about £10. Ten shiny English pounds. Or whatever the equivalent is in, in your dollars and Canadian dollars and things. But then it doesn't always necessarily... Um, Translate because you, you, they don't always charge the exact conversion. So we'll have to see how much it is in other countries. But in England or Scotland or Ireland or Wales, in fact, I don't know about Ireland because they use euros. Yeah, but England, Scotland, and Wales, it is ten pounds. A little over. How much have I got left to do? Oh, this is looking so good. I feel like I need to put things in here now. So we'll have to work on that. We'll probably have to work on a little, a couple of commissions just to learn how to do things, how to put things down, how to, to turf, how to mow the lawn, all that stuff, all that good stuff. Just get a bit of an idea how to do the gardens. And then we'll probably start taking on uh, like house commissions where we'll do the whole house and the garden, which will be so nice. I'm not too sure about the the post-apocalyptic houses though, like whether they're supposed to be like gardened. Seems a bit of a waste to be honest to do the garden just as the zombies are about to attack. This plot has a huge garden as well. You realise this? This is actually the best plot, for, probably for um. Because I think the plots are basically the same size, but the house is so tiny on this one. That you got a huge garden space, so I could do something really special out here. But we're going to start with mowing the lawn. I seem to have a new skill point because I have done that much, that much uh, gardening now. That much lawn mowing in particular. But the lawn mowing was what I was so excited about. So I got to do loads of it, right? Cause that was the worst. And like I say, it's quite interesting how my lawnmower broke just as this game came out. So this game could soothe my frayed nerves about my horrible lawn, especially cause I live in a place where all my neighbors do a really good job of keeping their lawns tidy. And mine's disgusting and half moan. <laughs> they probably think I'm really lazy that I did half of it and not the other half, but it's not my fault. So I've got a few things I want to do here now. I want to maybe plant some plants. I want to maybe get the outside of the house a little bit more painted and nice. I notice the hedges are all automatically trimmed. I wonder if there will be some untrimmed hedges later on that we can trim with the brush trimmer. I strim out my multi-purpose tool that seems to do everything. I 
And yeah, I do actually mow the lawn like this as well. Just go around in circles. It actually helps a bit with the cable management because I do have a lawn mower. Well, I did have a lawn mower with a cable. But now I don't have a lawn mower anymore. I might go for a petrol one or like an electric um, rechargeable one so that I don't have a cord. That might be quite nice to go cordless. To go cordless. There! Look, it's all mowed and pretty and just a couple of shrubs around the place. And oh, wow, doesn't that look so much better? Oh, gosh, so good. So, yes, we have flipped this garden now, I guess. So, uh, yeah, guys, let's change the tools so I can see see this place. Oh, so nice. I'm so happy. Anyway, so I'm going to leave it there. So we have uh, mowed the whole lawn around this place. And we also laid some turf. And we also learned how to lay gravel and how to pull weeds. So I am really, really super happy with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more Garden Flipper, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the video is out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, though, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.